This is Present to Imperfect Ice Part 2. Now, if you have not yet watched Part 1, please go back and do that. Otherwise, this clip will not make a lot of sense. All right. In this clip, we're going to go from the statement, you are happy, made to a friend, to the statement, you were happy. We're going from the present tense to the past imperfect. Okay? So, um, go ahead and on your sheet of paper, try to write down the statement, you were happy. You'd make it to a friend. You were happy. Okay, you can pause here if you need to. Now remember, to go from the present tense to the past infinitive, there are three steps. I-C-E. Because remember what I joked about, going from present tense to past tense is cool. Let me say that. Going from present tense to past tense is cool. And ICE is cool too. Get it? ICE is cool. Now ICE is an acronym. I stands for the infinitive, C stands for chopping glue, and E stands for the ending. All right, so let's take an example. You, friend, are happiest to estas feliz. We need to go to the infinitive and beyond. We go back to the AR, ER, IR form of the verb, which is a star. Okay, now we've gone to the infinitive. C stands for chopping glue. You're going to chop off the AR, and if it's an AR verb like a star, cantar, bailar, you're going to add ABBA. So air, you chop off the air and add aba. If it's er or ir, like comer or vivir, you're going to chop off the er, ir, and add ia. Now you don't just stop. E on ice stands for ending. If you're talking to a friend, you stick on an s. If you're talking about we, after you chop off the air and add aba, you add mos. And if you're talking about they or you guys, after you chop off the air and add aba, you add an n. So, you friend are happy is tu estas feliz, and you friend were happy was tu estabas feliz. Now I want you to notice something. Estas in the present tense had accent marks over estas, esta, and estan. But we went when we went to the infinitive and beyond, all the accents disappeared. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's try another one. Let's go from the statement, they want a taco, uh, in the present tense to the statement they wanted a taco in the imperfect past okay now I'll give you just a second write down on your paper on your notes they wanted a taco and to, if you need more time you can push pause here and give yourself a little more time all right all right let's look at this they want a taco is eos quieren un taco now we first we ha first part of ice is I you had to go to the infinitive and beyond. <laughs> that just never gets old. <laughs> Probably gets old for you, but not for me. All right. The infinitive uh, that uh, quieren comes from is querer. Now, notice it's an ER verb. So, we go back to ER. Now, C and I stands for chopping glue. So, we're, if it's an AR verb, we chop off the air and add ABBA. And we've seen a couple examples of that with hugar and a star. But if it's an ER or an IR verb, like comer or vivir or querer, you chop off the ER, IR, and add an IA. Okay? But you don't just stop at queria. ICE is three letters. I-C-E. You need to go to the infinitive and beyond. C is chopping glue, and E is the ending, okay? Now, if you're talking to your friend, after you chop off the ER and add IA, you add S. If you're talking about we, after you chop off the ER and add IA, you add MOS. And if you're talking about they or are you guys, after you chop off the ER and add IA, you add an N. So, they want a taco, so ellos quieren un taco. They wanted a taco, was so ellos querían un taco. And one final note. When you go... To the infinitive and beyond. All the stem changers disappear. In the present tense, if the E turns into an IE, it goes back to an E. If the O turns into a UE, okay? So, there are no stem changers in uh, ice. All right, this has been Present to Imperfect Part 2.